Welcome back to a new video. So in this workout, I started out with some muscle snatches. I got up to 90, but you'll kind of see it was certainly not a very easy 90, and I got a little dizzy after I did it, um, as what happens sometimes with heavy muscle snatches. I think it's mostly because my head is pointed down, and then you kind of rapidly change the position of it, as well as exerting yourself. So it's just a blood pressure um, change, because it's really the only lift where it happens. I've had it... Like that passing out feeling happened a couple times with front squats, so that's a pretty obvious one where it's just pressing too much on your carotid artery. With muscle snatches, it's very random. I should say not very random. It's usually just like on a very heavy, heavy rep, but um, I think it's just because, you know, holding your breath, changing your angle of your head and whatnot, but you'll see it here on this one. It's a very difficult rep. I was able to finish it, uh, which is nice because I've been missing it a couple times, and yeah, not very easy. And <laughs> you can see myself get a little woozy and have to gather myself a little bit there but then after um i gathered myself i went to doing some power snatch plus snatch and i got up to 90 they weren't the easiest they didn't feel the greatest today but i was able to do them i didn't do any waves or anything just one um straight work i guess I'm losing my uh maybe i'm still uh dealing with the side effects of the muscle snatch from five days ago but I am I worked up to 90 I should say with this complex if you want to call it that and did it without straps which is good um, and like I said they weren't the easiest but I was able to get up to 90 and just work straight up to there and then moved on to doing uh, clean plus push press plus jerk and the reason for that was just to get a jerk in I didn't really want to go super heavy on the clean and jerks based on how I was feeling in the snatch um, I thought that was a good choice especially after but the push presses went really well and then uh, we'll see them in a second, but let's look at this 80 here. Makes the full snatches feel a lot better to do the, the powers. The powers don't always feel good, like here, this power felt difficult, wasn't super easy, but then doing the full snatch um, made it feel more powerful. I think it's just because once you do the power, then you go back to the regular, you can take that aggressive uh, turnover and fixation above your head from the power, and then you have more time to get it into a more advantageous position in the bottom part there. It's a little bit fit, a little bit far forward on that, but 90 is a good weight for that. Eventually, I want to be able to progress this complex up to doing 95 and 100 and hopefully even more. Um, but if I'm able to do 90, that's fine for now and it's good for like working sets. I was trying to spread my front foot out a little bit there from uh, my lead foot in the jerk to the side it looks kind of crazy from this angle like it's super far out so maybe i did it a little bit too much but the push presses felt good as you saw there it went from 60 to 95 with the goal of getting up to 120 which i was actually able to do the jerk looks weird but it doesn't look bad from this angle a little little bit of a dip on the left side but that's pretty normal doing push presses after doing a full clean I always find it to be a little bit easier because power cleans tend to take a bit more of my energy out than doing a full clean, especially when it's a lighter weight. But here, the push press, as you saw, went pretty well and jumped from that 95 to 120. And then the jerk, I was quite happy with as well. So I was quite um, surprised that the push press went that well. Uh, the jerk makes sense, but everything went really great with that. So I'm excited about that. And uh, for squats today, I did again, well, I guess you should say again, I did a different kind of squat scheme. So I did a three by three at 155, which is uh, five kilograms more than the five by three I did the last time. And then after doing that five by three or the three by three, I jumped up to 170 for a single, 190 for a single and 210 for a single. And the reason for that is just because I was feeling like moving up in weight and that's really about it. I think it was, will probably be a good idea to have um, at least one squat session that is focused on getting up to a heavier, just single of some sort. Even if it's after you know doing a three by three, maybe just having those three singles and then getting up to like a 210. And then if I'm able to do like triples at 160, then jump up to 180 to 200 to 220, you know, something like that. Maybe not 220, that seems quite heavy, but it's, uh, you know, you kind of get the idea. So most of the squat sessions will be five by threes and I'll just continue to kind of hammer the back squat since it seems like it's going well. Um, I keep of like contemplating like adding a front squat session in, but I think I'm just getting enough squats with the back squats. I think maybe after this four week cycle, I could potentially add in um, some front squats or like a front squat triple day in the same kind of manner as the five by threes. But honestly, if my training's going well and back squats are continuing to go well, I don't really have a big problem with biasing them uh, because it puts a lot less uh, strain on my front rack 
and uh, they're just easier mentally to do. And if I'm you know, improving in the main lifts with it and just getting stronger, it's really kind of the point of training anyway. So I still think front squats will be good to add in, but the continuing the bias of back squats will be what I plan to do at least for the time being. But that's it for this one. Productive workout, got a lot of good sets or a lot of good uh, volume in and good work in general. And I'm sorry, my brain is fried right now. I don't know why I'm having trouble talking, but that's going to be it for this one. I'll talk to you all in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Peace.